assez je vous sens bien un gros nick alors il est plus seul un port de bif Okay, so we are underway here. Nicolas Collin from Belgium on boulder number one. It's kind of important that we talk about them because obviously the athletes had to get enough points to qualify for this stage. And Nicolas Collin was one of the ones who got through one of the top eight athletes and he's power screaming as he always does, but falls on that very steep section of roof. And Nicolas goes again now underneath the roof. Savage pinches on that left hand as he just about hits the sliver of the crimp on the right. Puts in a heel, crosses through to the crimp, locks it off, legs spinning as he finds the wall again, slaps out right. Still screaming his way up towards the 10 and you will be able to see his score quite soon updated on the left. Makes a bump, he's got feet on the last hole but he needs to get hands, he's got a left foot jam now right foot jam reaches through what a spectacular way to finish a boulder last climb this was him coming through the middle tiny crimp with that right hand super powerful on that angle and then the ending toes heels in play make the match with your hands you have to do that not the feet job done so here we go he would have heard the crowd, he knows it's toppable, and he knows Nicholas did top it. Pulls on, toes underneath. Comes out to that left hand pinch as he adjusts with the right hand, but the feet pop. Back on again here. Into these pinches, they're pretty nasty for the hands, and you have to bring the feet up, of course. Toe hook helps, and you have to release the toe hook to campus out to the crimp. Powerful stuff from him. Out towards the left hand, wrapping it round that rounded crimp, out towards the corner. And he's looking for a heel hook to match where his hand is now. Trust that heel, don't think about it. And let's see how he does this. We have spotted this feet first method. It's pretty rare that a boulder finishes like it does, or did. And he tried to go with the hands, couldn't reach it, and he immediately wants a brush. So here we go, into the starting position. The judges will be watching for control at the beginning. Out towards the crimp, misses it. He will have time to go again, but now he's left himself not a lot of time. Pulls on once more, cuts loose, legs scorpioning backwards, gets a heel in, pressing, pressing as he comes up towards that crimp. 19 seconds, whatever he does, he's going to have to get it first time. Heel in to match the fingers. 11 seconds, he's going to hear the five second buzzer in a minute, he's going to have to snatch for it, I don't think he's got this one. One hand, no, rolls down. This was the replay, got the heel to match, one hand sliding down the edge of the volume, needed to match, couldn't quite make it that time. So next up, Luca Potaja from Slovenia enters the stage. Let's see how he gets on with this boulder. In a minute we'll see two at the same time, but not quite yet. Here he goes again, puts in a heel. Again, hasn't climbed yet, has he? First time, <laughs> into the zone, first time of asking. Chalking up as well, showing that lead strength that he has. Up he goes again, easy into that final hold, good work from him. So he went hands first. But compared to Hannes, that right hand stuck. He made the match. Nikolai Rusev is on for Bulgaria. A two impressive results. 15th in lead, 9th in Boulder. So it's the Boulder that really gave him those extra points. And he's only 18, of course. So, first attempt. Pulls on. Makes that start position. Cuts loose. Throws up with the left hand onto the crimp. 
he'll adjust his feet once more. This is quick stuff as he hits the corner. I think he's got one hand on it. Into the heel now. Matches. Got to go out right now into that corner. He's not looking as comfortable as Luca did. That left hand flip would have helped, but no, a bit low. And I guess he's figured out that it takes him, you know, 30 or so seconds to climb the boulder maximum. Might as well wait. Well, with 40 seconds to go, he's back on, makes the touch. Out towards the left, pinching hard as he brings the right heel in. Looking a little more out of control on this crimp. Fingers uncurling, but he finds the second crimp. Pushes upwards, 27 seconds as he matches heel to hand, squeezing that finger. Looked uncomfortable for a moment. And no, looked about as far away as he was the first time. 10 seconds to go. He'll leave with just the high zone. And Nicholas is back in action after those power screams. And Jonas Utelli, one of two Swiss team members in this final, is underway as well. Hits the crimp well, comes into the 10 now, swinging those feet out as he tries to get some feet back onto the wall. There's the heel, so far so good. Big move needed here though, into the corner. Was in the right place with that right hand, but maybe not quite the range on it. It's the first thing I thought about, but uh, when I went and stood underneath it, I realised why it was that way. So, out towards the Notex, holds it, move to come though, and this is a long, long way with no hand holds. You've got to be very precise landing on this giant volume. He sets himself up. Good feet here, but obviously the feet disappear in a minute. I'm thinking about doing it statically as well. Yeah, a very interesting beat a break on that first one. I wonder if he's found something here. Pushes himself to the edge. Now sets himself up for this spring. Now he goes again. He hasn't rested as long as his competitors. Maybe feeling fresher, maybe wanting to give himself three attempts at this. Big move out, hand sliding down, closer. Nice movements through. Now, before he tried to creep over to the left, I think he's just going to go for the full jump here. Sets himself. It's a really weird moment. You fling yourself over and a full spin down. Not making that jump, but he has got time to go again. Jonas, no. So far, Nicholas and Luca Potiger out in front. That's much better, but he hasn't given himself time. Ten seconds. There's nothing on that arete to stop the, mo the momentum over. Well, he spun and twisted on that run and jump. Jonas got that close with the right hand. Nicholas Colin, that was the first time, the spring, the turn. Next up, Hannes. Guillermo, back on. He's in action. Back on the stage, I mean, from the other night, because obviously he's been competing all week. And thank you to the European president for chatting to us earlier on. It's always really interesting. Up towards the jump, Guillermo, who got a bronze medal in the lead. 22nd in Boulder. But generally a very good boulder. Bumps those right hands up. Drops it to the corner. He's got a toe hook in this time. It's a bit easy to release the hands like that. Now starts a bit of a swing over. Hits it. Slaps with the palm but down. But he has got a lot of time. Into this position again as he looks upwards. Easy spring. But remember, it's no texture where his left foot is. And quickly over. Guillermo is resting now, he's had a few attempts at that power boulder, so he might just be feeling a tiny bit tired. 
C'est en partie en Pôle Sud. Better this time from Hamis into the five. The second half of the bowl has come, of course, and the more difficult half tries to figure out the feet, wants to put a right near the edge of that blue volume, gets himself set. He needs to commit to this foot now, skips his way through. That is such a difficult jump. Cogs are whirring as he tries to work out the angle. Everything is working against you on that boulder. Meanwhile, Guillermo reaches through. Big swings, showing he's a little bit tired now. Still got some beams, though, as he matches briefly to bump out right. Will he do the toe? He's going for the heel this time. Pushing down, trusting it as his head disappears around the corner. Aims for the 25. No, and I think he's too far away now. And with the time remaining, not enough, and he will leave us. Hannes, meanwhile, hits... That slopey hold again, but he's far away as well. And let's watch it again. That was the first couple of wild attempts where he just wasn't quite landing properly. And of course, no texture for the hand. Just, well, the Spaniard was slapping over. And then he started to get the range to go left. So Sasha comes on. This afternoon, you can hear the excitement of the competition echo around the town. And it's certainly drawing people in. Luca Bottiglia. Flash the first one, let's see what you can do here. Sorry, not flash, got it in a couple of goes. Sets himself up, kicking on the wall. And he is managing to make this slopey hold work. Can't find the no tax though. Set is doing a nice job of differentiating between men and women's comps, different styles. Really using this uh, wall from the Burn World Champs well. Sasha can't hold that right hand. The 25 on that flash. He hasn't flashed this though. Better into the low zone now. Second half of the bowl with two minutes 12 to go. Luca trying that method of kind of skipping the feet through. Sasha will just need to keep on racking up the points here. He's already got the low zone. Luca Potager goes again, easy this time, learning the sequence. Oh, there is a small jib on the corner. There we go, onto the 10, but it's absolutely minicule, isn't it? So starts this rock back over. Well, it's less wild, but it's still not close. Sasha, meanwhile, is on the last sequence here. Gets a heel in. Crowd get behind him as he brings that left hand across. One move away now. This looks good with that left. And oh, for a moment, he held it. Oh, no, he's not. Might go again. So Luca starts the swing. He's easily in. 22 seconds on the clock. Can he figure something out with his last move? Back. Lands, Sasha goes again, but drops. Not really enough time to rest, and he knows that. Worth a try, and he'll have to say goodbye. It was good work from Luca. As with Sasha as well, he was one hand away from finishing that, which would have given a big boost. So Sam Abazu will be the last climber on boulder number one. Just linking together moves and looking good in the lead wall as well. So the favourite, I think. But remember, he's been competing a lot. In the same way as we were talking about Xenia earlier on, who's been in multiple days of competition. You just wonder if he's managed to recover in time. But look at this from Nikolai Rusev, straight in. And Sam Abazu as well, up to the low zone, and hits the high. Oh, and look at this for Nikolai. He's made that step across. What was the problem? Well, he's into the high zone. Sam Abazu, meanwhile, has a left heel. That's all that Nikolai is standing on, up towards the top. No, so close as he came through, but he wants a brush. Sam Abazu, meanwhile, kind of got a toe around the corner, which might have helped. But Allez, on veut le voir sortir, allez, 
There's Nikolai on the five. Looks left. Runs across. Great jump again. Pin perfect to land. It's a good hold as you can see him. You can stand up with no hands, but landing is different. And then you've got to commit to a bad foot and then paddle Dino across into the corner, which is around the corner, by the way. Blind and hard to see. One hand, two hands. Although he got two hands on it, it didn't show control. He has still got time, though. Sam Avazu is back into this corner. That left heel pushing down, holds it in a guppy now. There is a hold around the corner. Can he get to it, though? Hits it with the right hand. Looks good. Matches. And that is a top for Sam Avazu. Quick climb on the power boulder. And he has another minute in the tank to rest and recuperate. And I'll have a little look here as you come across. Fair enough. Although the uh, sequence is pretty easy to work out for them. It's just executing it. And he just about lands on that left foot and brings the right foot through. Oh, that was as close as you can come, and he will go again. He had his hands right over the top. It's hard to get those hands into play. Up onto the no ticks. Quick stuff here. He's going to be rushed, whatever, and that might affect him, though. Just about into the no ticks. At least he won't be ruining his skin. Round he goes. Yes, into the zone. Right. Final focus moment here. He's had two goes at getting this. That's the foot he's going to be standing on. Ten seconds. Will it be a buzzer beater moment? Looks at the clock, looks left, gets ready to go, and yeah, no! Well, let's see the replays of this. This was him skipping across. Handing well on that big slopey volume. That was the time before where he got really close. Sam Abazu, meanwhile, polishing off the end of that boulder well. Big points for him. Nasty foot. But look how close. One hand went, the other followed. So Nicholas Collin comes back on for M3. Jonas on M2. Sliding down, but got the right idea on that first go. And a little bit of a nod. He knows that was good. And now, this is really the slab. I think I said Dan left was the slab before, but more Cordo. This is certainly slabby. They've been kind of doctored by our setters to create some bad handholds. Jonas is in. Runs his way across. Close. So Nicholas brings that right foot up, presses into the correct position at the start, brings the left foot in, heel down as he stands up. Audience's tension nicely split between the two, everyone moving back and forth between the lead wall, the boulder wall, dodging the sun. Smooth into the no text now as he looks left again. He came close last time. Can he improve on this, this go? Crosses the hands. He's thinking about doing it more statically. Drops back down. And that's so much better. Just about the edge of the wall saving him. He's about to discover how hard this move is as well. A bit too slow. I think there was a, a foot slip as he made the movement. Again, back on. One minute now. This jump is low percentage though, and he nearly fell before. You can talk much about the slab, it's on the right of your split screen. Those wood section of holes have zero texture on them, but you don't really need to use them for this. That's better. 30 seconds now, potentially the last time to do this. He'll take a breath before committing. Looking around the corner. We've just got to trust an instinct in the air here. 
comes around the corner, a bit slower on the movement, which I think is smart, has to run down the wall the other side. What do we think? Has he got time for one more? Maybe 14 seconds on the clock and a low zone potentially for Nicholas Collin there. Well, this was the jump around the corner section. He chose a different method than Nikolai, who was launching. Jonas deciding to slow things down. That was onto the low zone. So on Boulder 3, Nicolas Collin, to my scores, wasn't awarded. Remember, appeals can come through. We saw quite a few in the women's comp earlier on. So Hannes on the slab now. Gennemot runs up into the five. Not that time, but close. Got one foot on. Hannes pulls back into that awkward starting position. The yellow lines indicating a limb. Pressing down with the left hand, bringing the foot up. No, not quite. Rolls those shoulders. Love that flick of the right leg. Hannes pushes down once more. He's looking a little bit awkward as he gets stood up. Can't really get that left foot engaged. Gemmo back and forth. Not making a lot of forward progress on that jump. Hannes gets that left leg up meanwhile. There's the five. No rumbles in the distance. I think we should be okay for rain, but there is a big roof on this boulder wall as well, which is good to see. So we should be protected if it happens to do that. Started the kick and then changed his mind. A little alter with the angle, and that's much better. Different feet getting him across. Right, left foot onto the jib now. Looks around the corner, gets himself set. He goes slow as well, and as before, two hands on. I do think slow is better on that. Hannes stands up again, minute 30 on the clock. Better with the left leg, just smoother mo motion. No, can't get stood up on it. I thought he was in. You can see how much chalk he's got on his hands. Really needed when there's this much skin being laid down. Goes again with 41 seconds on the clock. Needs something to happen now. Starts to swing back and forth. Lands, sets up for the second jump. Kicking off and not quite. 26 seconds. He has got time if he wants to go again. Hannes, meanwhile, will try to stand up into this zone. It's been fairly low scoring so far. And he's in once more. Eight seconds, though. He's just going to have to launch around the corner. He looks at the clock. Can he make it? No, not quite. Luca Potija is on. Sasha Lehman is back. Especially after that power boulder on two where those sharp crimps would have been biting into some thin skin. So, straight up into the first hold. Can't hang around very long. Needs to find some kind of a kick. He does do a bit of a swing, but as I said, not really a jug. And struggling here. Where his feet are, no texture. Zero. Slippy as anything, but that's close. Luca stands up on that left foot this time, but bobbles at the last moment, sends him back. Sands up slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. 
wraps the fingers around that low zone. This is great. That's going to help the score as well. That five points important in a round like this. Is he careful with the feet? Creeps it, gets a heel in to steady himself. Or no, a heel, a toe pressing against the edge of that grey volume. Now brings the left foot, trying to find something up there. There's not a lot to stand on. Latches the left, starts this swing onto the grey, and he's spread between the holes. I don't know how he's holding on here. That left one is better than the right, but only in certain positions. And you've kind of got to push and match. Wow. Sasha jumps back onto the start of the boulder. Tries a Houdini swap with the hands. Not sure that's the way. And Sasha's into the low zone. <laughs> He's into the tent now. Looks around the corner, stands on it. Explodes up, two hands, no. This man is on 34, which doesn't mean a lot. Presses down into the position again. He's deciding to go with the left foot, trust the right foot more as he gets stood up. Looks towards the five. Wraps the fingers. Makes the match, bobbles it, but manages to hold it. Sasha begins his run over and lands it. So back towards where he was before, 30 seconds. Luca as well. If Luca can get this, he really will pull ahead, but it's important to get that high zone. Does the swap? No, he doesn't. Nearly did, and Sasha as well. No go for him. Let's have a little look at this. This is how close Sasha came. One hand on, couldn't bring the right hand into play. Launched a few times towards it, though. And right, Sam Abazu comes out. Boulder that has uh, this many foot movements in it. Easy from Sam. This is the flow I was talking about. When he's on form on a cordo move, it just looks like, well, water. Look at that. Beautiful. So, one move away. Can he possibly flash this? Surely not. This last move must take some learning. Left foot on the jib. Looks around the corner. Gets himself set. Ah, that was so close to flashing it. Nikolai on the slab. Presses upwards. Sam Abazu back towards the five. Nikolai has to jump down. Sam runs across. Little foot movement to get established. Tiny handhold. You don't really need it. You just need it to give yourself a little bit of drive, but it's all about that left foot really. Better from Sam, and yes, he did learn from that first go. That's two. And that moves him way out in front now with 50. So Sam leaves the mats with another two minutes to rest. That's the advantage of getting these boulders done as fast as he is. Time off away just to recuperate. Nikolai looks up, wobbling as he balances his way through. So a minute and a half on the clock here. Nikolai pulls on this slab, proving to be tricky for everyone at the moment. And that score on the left not being updated yet for Sam Abazuz. Up towards the five. Gentle, gentle does it. Has fingers on now, really spread out. Flies left, can't hold it. Powerful way of doing that slab. Oh. 
So Nikolai again, squeezing with that right hand. Hits the left well, little adjustment. That's powerful stuff in order to do that hand adjustment, get it into the wrap. Finds the feet as well, he's so strong. But four seconds, I'd almost forgotten the time came down. And I think that buzzer just got in his head there, but powerful climber. This was Sam Avazu on the skip across. Look at that, two hands fully in, sinking, getting a little bit more height than the others who were going more left before latching the hands. Nicholas turns. Let's see boulder number four, shall we? Feet outright. Jonas stands up. Falls the first time. Meanwhile, Nicholas has made it into the high zone, gets a heel in. Giant hold, but hard to hold on to to come as he gets himself set. Wait for the power screams. Up he goes. Yes. Wow. Strong stuff from him on that final climb. Started off well and finished well. Slab though. Stands up now, feet either side. Comes down towards the edge. The setters have blocked that though to stop you uh, crimping it. They've just put some screws in there. Hits the five, wants to palm down onto something. It was too far to go all the way to the left. So again, has that left foot on. Up with the left hand, wants to swap it quick, but can't. So, up again with a minute 20 on the clock. Jonas coming close to so many boulders, but not really being given the points for it. Just 20 on the board at the moment. So, back up towards the slab now. Creeps that hand down, sets himself towards the zone. Into the next hold, works those feet through. Kicks out left, there's the high zone. If you can drop down towards it, but you've got to swap those hands over. Absolutely brutal move this on a slab. Little adjustment, wants to find the black ball, you can't. And that is such a hard move. Nicholas though, that was the rotation, we missed it on camera, great to see a replay, came through, up to the big ball, locked it off, matched it, celebrated. And there's the high zone, it's tantalizingly in reach, but you've got to do a whole difficult hand swap to get to it. Hannes Pullman on the last climb of his boulder round, get him up on the slab. Right, springs up, pressing as we've seen everyone do, quickly becomes a bit of a nightmare. Hannes easily through, spinning in that rotation. There's the 10, Campus is up to that, then brings that left foot on, and he's one move away suddenly as well. This boulder, pretty important I think, to top a slab, almost impossible it seems. Up he goes, and yes, it's another flash on M4. So Hannes' work is done, we'll wait for his score. <laughs> so we get to focus on this slab with three minutes to go. And can anyone unlock this? Hannes Puman up to 39.8 now. So, pressing down once more, gets the right foot up this time. Super awkward with that right foot, so he's just kind of edging on the edge of it and he just wants to twist. You can see what he's trying to do. The sole of the shoe trying to turn over towards the left in order to drive left, but for some reason really not comfortable with this one. 
full concentration for the coaches down at the front there. And he's back on. Looks right, brings the foot over, hops it, hopefully into a better position this time. Still causing us some issues, gets a knee in play. He shifted the foot lower, then immediately bumped it, bounced it back to where it was before. Tried to spring up, but I don't think anyone's got the grip. Wraps it better this time. Really good stuff. Right, eight seconds though again. Not enough time probably to get this done. That's the hand swap. No, I had to rush it. This was Hannes's quick flash. That move introduced a couple of years ago and it really won the athletes know pretty well by now. Up towards the top. Boulder number four, pretty toppable, but that will start to stack up the pressure on those who have yet to climb on it. They'll know they need to get it done. So Sasha Lehman will come down towards the slab. Luca Potaja will hit up this final boulder, which I'd expect him to send this pretty quick, actually. Luca jumps on, gets into the starting position, toes underneath, and you have to release one of them in order to come into the pocket. That spin, so far so good. He'll continue the motion through. Sasha, meanwhile, looking good, stood up on the first time. Falls though, Luca Potja campuses up to the edge, one move away now as he gets a left foot, finds a right heel, I think he'll change that heel into a toe, he's getting himself ready for the jump, he's a, not quite in the right place yet, now it's better, yes, holds the lock off well, makes that match and three minutes turn, that's a quick flash in the end of his boulder round two and relief a bit on his face, big score. Sasha, meanwhile, oh, the pinch. <laughs> so, spreading out, pinching again. So, back up into this position. I'm loving the way he pinches. Sets himself, looks. Up he goes, holds the left. Not quite. Sasha, back into this press. One minute to go, and every, a lot of athletes seem to unlock it in the last couple of seconds, so you don't want to leave it too late. Of course, not something they're choosing to do. Pretty hard, this boulder. Nothing really to be had for the grip there. Gets himself in the right position. Trusts the left foot as he brings the right foot on. Oh, the left overbalances. It's interesting chatting to Nika Potapova in the commentary box the other day. She was saying how she used to hate slab climbing and has forced herself to get good at it. And that's what you need to do, I think. It's one of those things that's horrible until you're good. And then the joy of unlocking a slab is a great climbing feeling. Sasha though, watch that left foot, it's got to stay as he comes up, the right leg goes, no, the right leg wasn't in the correct position to hold that stand up, and I think he's done. Sasha will leave, and only one climber to go. This was Luca's flash, everyone getting through this boulder nice and quickly. And so does this man, Sam Avers, who's been pretty much perfect so far. Very difficult boulder, whereas this one may be a little too easy. It's a hard one, isn't it, for the setters to get right every time. And he's done a good job so far. Fantastic separation at the moment. Right, spins through. Onto the five. Easy peasy at the moment. Keep an eye on Sam as well. He stood up quickly. Nikolai hits the left hand. Just adjusts those fingers up onto the good bit of the side pull. Gets himself set. No issues so far from him. Sam latches the five. Oh no, Nikolai does fall going to the top. So not a flash for him. For Sam, flash the low zone. What is Sam Avazu eating for breakfast at the moment? This is crazy. Got to do the foot swap though, the hand swap. Which he does into the low high zone. The first one to get that. Will that count? I'm not sure. I think he wants to make more certain of it. Yeah, moves those hips just to try to show the judges he's using it. But 
I think he's got to work out how to drop that left foot somehow out of the way. And no, the second he did, lost momentum. I'm not sure if that's going to be awarded. Yeah, he wasn't awarded the high zone, just the low at the moment. He needed to kind of shift his hips, but wasn't really making any progress on it. Nikolai dropped the top, see if he can find it the second time. Easy. Gets the maximum. Minus that 0.1 for the attempt. And he leaves the stage with a pretty good score at the end. Right, Sam. He was so quick the first time. Has he figured out a way? And watch the grip strength if he manages to do this hand swap again. Just looks so solid. No one else has got closer to this thing. And Sam Avazu looks like it's a different kind of boulder problem. He might get it now. The foot is way lower. Instead of being on the blue, he went straight onto the black. Better from him. There's the 25, he should be in. He's done the impossible once more. Hits the 25 with the match. Sam Avazu is on a different level right now. Frankly, looks unbeatable on the boulder wall. Nikolai getting it the second time. A big jump up, hugging the slope up. And then Sam Avazu made the foot adjustment he needed to do. And his learning's on a different as level as well at the moment. The way he processes these moves just seems to get into his body, get into his mind super quick, and he can execute it. Okay, last climb then. We'll get to focus on this for the final three. This is a uh, pretty straightforward boulder into the left, rotates through with the right, matches with the left. Everyone doing almost identical beater on this one. Heel in, swaps to the toe, gets yourself set, don't blow the top, hug it and done. Good work. So Gemma on now, let's see what he can do on M4. Into the starting hold. And no, the first one to hesitate on the bottom. So he goes again on M4, toes underneath. Better this time, way more accurate as he comes in. Onto the five, low, well actually no, straight to the middle of that hold. Oh wow, well. Not liking this boulder currently. It's the left, spins in. Still a bit wild with the feet here, and needs to drive up. Holds it though, and gets a heel. All right, this is where he fell before. Gets set for the jump. Can he piece it together now? Yes, just. That left hand for a moment looked like it was sliding. But it goes, thank goodness for him, and that bumps up his score. Just under 50 now. This was him rotating through. Good work. And then the top got set. Did the hug. Sasha Lehman then. Swinging through, nice and casual. Oh, brilliant. Chalks up with one hand. We saw this from Philip Schenk last night on the lead wall. Oh, he does miss the next hold. So, Sasha again. Up he goes into the starting holds. This is simple. Will he chalk up again? He will. Make sure of it. Oh, goes up with the right hand. Drops back down. Changes his mind. Sasha making things more complicated than they need to be, I think. Up. No. Up he goes. Toes in underneath. Eyes left. Swings through. This time not hanging around to chalk, and I think that's good. So, swings. Kicks up, just about holds it and adjusts that left hand. Into the undercling now, needs to get this. Minute 25 on the clock. Just about from Sasha Lehman. And relief again in his face as he finishes. That was the top, came through and then watch his face. Just pure relief at the top of that thing. Ooh. So last athlete out will be Sam Avazu. <laughs> Thank you.
Into the five, spins through, kicks off the wall a little bit. Springs up into 10 now, brings the right foot through. Gets himself set, jump, matches, it's a flash. And that will put Sam up high on the scoreboard into the 99.7s out in front. This was Sam launching upwards. Let's check the results then. Sam Abazu in the 99s in the top spot. Luca Potager just below 60. Nicholas Colan 55. Then Nikola Rusev, Jonas Utelli down in fifth. Also in the 49s is Graham Mook. Sasha Lehman 44. Hannes Puman 39. Okay, well, Nicholas will need to focus now. He's 26. Lots of World Cups under his belt. And he will prepare now. And looks quite easy down low. Yeah, the first part looks easy. The holds are good. But uh, there are not a lot of food, so it can be a bit tricky. We will see. Uh, good knee bar here. Yeah, massive knee bar straight away. And he'll use that to chalk up. There's a clock down on the bottom right. They have six minutes to complete the route. And these next holds, he wants to go all the way as high as possible. There's lots of blocked ones, but he's onto the right hold now. Little bump into a good jug. And he makes another clip here. And in the next section, there are not a lot of foot. I don't know how we will climb this. It will be interesting. Yeah, there's a little edge, isn't there, created down the bottom. And he uses that and then upgrades the feet. A big move down low. Okay, so he has three quick draws in now. No points, of course. Points will start up by that black volume. Nico was also super close to qualify for the Olympics. Yeah, very true. The OQS. Yeah, that OQS seems like a long time ago now. When yeah, we're in sure. Shanghai and Budapest. So, points on the board for Nicholas Kolam. Choosing to wrap the whole of that hold. Yeah. With the right hand. There is a pocket in there, but maybe better just to hold on like that. Giant pinch. Now, this is the section in a minute where he could spin to face the audience. Now we need to push super hard. Oh. Will he have seen it though? Not yet. Palm in. He'll make the clip from here. Points are on the left, he's got four currently, and he is doing it facing in, so more difficult. He might be in some trouble, nice. but steps through. Well, that's the other way to do it, <laughs> facing in. But it looks not that bad like this. He struggled a bit, but he don't lost a lot of power. Yeah, I think he's okay. Although, do remember how much he's being pushed back by the overhang. Ten points now. Yeah, so more points available from this point onwards. Two per hold. He moves up into provisional second. It's the crimp. Stands up high into a sloper. And crimp's coming up now. What would you do? Would you cross here or would you bump yeah, the hand? Yeah, sure. All right. From the ground, that, that looked the right better. But when you climb sometimes, like Nico, you can readjust this. Well, he's going to clip. They are pretty good crimps for the athletes, these. But it's just going to burn your forearms. Got to hold on really hard with this. Come on, Nico. Starting to struggle now. You can see the shake, the power scream as he drops into a good hold. Nico always crimps super hard. I love seeing this. I don't know how he has the breath to carry on climbing. <laughs> Crosses through. Nice. Up towards the right hand. Big bump towards the black volume. Oh, Ring fighter. Still screaming here. Come on, Nico. Oh, and oh, falls. Slip. I think, yeah, the heel slipped or yeah. something. All right, well, 102.7 is his total. And this was interesting. A bit risky as well before the first clip's in. Ah, the knee bar is super, super big and the foot also, so I think he's okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll be right. If I was the b I'd be a bit nervous watching his head facing the ground, but he yeah. got, did it easily. And this is where he really started to have to fight. And look ah. how bad that hold is. Maybe yeah. it wasn't a foot slip. Yeah, sure. A heel slip. Yeah. 
I think he was maybe pretty pumped as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. so pumped. Next athlete, Hannes Bowman. So he's underway, pulls off the ground, hits that left hand. No. And then into the big hole. This is where the knee bar was. Yeah, no knee bar for him. Oh, there it yeah. is, puts it in, but doesn't really use it. It's just kind of to adjust the feet. Creeps himself up, smearing on the wall. And it's not very good, that first hold, where his right hand is. That's much better there. Unless he has a, a jerk against Klebe, is idiot. Yeah. There's Nicholas Conan, our current leader, oh, still breathing so hard. Yeah, I love that throne as well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so good. Now he can just cheer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, well, clips are in. I wonder if Hannes is going to spin here. Not necessary to do so, but easier. So if anyone spots it. It will, might help them. Now he uses that differently. Nicholas was pinching it with a whole hand. I think it's better like this. I think so too. I don't know why Nicholas did that. It was a bit strange. Yeah, maybe a sloper. Or <laughs> yeah, maybe like slopers. Yeah. All right, looks left. He's got to come round the corner here. Puts in a heel. Locks off that left arm. Shakes out the right. Man, that's deceptively hard, that move. I love it. It's almost like outdoor climbing, this, the yeah. way the set has created that. Yeah, sure. And uh, Anes did a lot of uh, multi-pitch routes with this kind of stuff. Okay. For sure, I love it. Yeah. It's just, he's happy here. But he's not quite in the right place with that left hand yet. He needs to bring the right foot up first. Yeah, with the right foot, is too short. Yeah, and it is quite awkward. He needs to make some space. Oh, nice. Oh, it's risky though, this. That's all he's standing on. If one of those feet goes, he's not going to be able to save himself. And all the blood rushing into his head as well. Yeah. <laughs> all right, he rotates. Left foot on. I don't like to climb this kind of move when it's, when it's me, but it's always so fun to, to watch some friend on, on this kind. <laughs> yeah, it hurts my shoulders watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he breathes deep. Hasn't got that quick draw in yet. I hope he hasn't forgotten it. I think he'll get the clip and then maybe reach yeah, back with the right perfect. hand. So, palming up with the right hand. Face close to the wall. That's cost him quite a lot of time. But I'm not sure time is going to be important on this route. Yeah, I think they're going to fall first. Yeah. You so rarely see the men finish a route now. Sure. Never happens. So rarely. Yeah. <laughs> More than five minutes, it's so rarely, so six. Yeah. Good work from Hannes, though. More points available now as he moves up to four. The two powerful on the cling now. So, hits the blocked crimp. And he's going from pressing to crimping now. Heel this big heel look is so important for the next crimps mm -hmm. because you have less weight on the on the hand. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that heel very important. Oh, ah, he's so pumped now. Yeah, he's Come on, Anes. not liking any of it. He can't really go back either. Oh, that was close. Oh, and yet he can cut loose, but he nice. hasn't made the clip. And I don't think he can make that clip, you know. He's looking for a crazy high foot. Oh. Come on, and they fight. Goes to... Oh, he has made it, though. What? The hook. How is he Perfect. still on? Come on, and good. Full effort. He wants some weight off his arms, but... Oh, no, he's done. Oh. Yeah. Well, this is a replay of what we just saw. And I think this is this cost him a little bit of energy this session. For sure, yeah. He stayed too long time here. Mm. Yeah, it's, if you could red point this route and climb it again, you know, he'd do something different here, I think. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no doubt. And then up near the top, well, he was fighting hard. 
tried to get this toe hook in. Jules was reckoning he could have maybe got a right toe. And here is Luca Bottajet. But he needs to read that spin correctly. So here he goes. Careful with the clips. You'll have seen this knee bar as well. Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, after two moves, you don't need to rest. Though. No, it's okay. I was surprised how long Nicholas did rest, actually. Yeah. He was shaking out there. Okay, but bad feet to come. And the route really starts building in intensity right now. Crosses into the pocket. <laughs> Look how pumped he still is on that right arm. You can see the veins standing out. <laughs> yeah, too much red for him, or as always. Yeah. Up towards the dish. This is good at the moment from Lucas. Yeah, he climbed well, pretty fast. He keeps his power for, the, for this rear section. Okay, leaning back with just three fingers on that one now. Points on the board though. So you can see the score 59.7, that boulder score. Which was good. It's climbing really deliberately, just slowing things down. Yeah, he's chilling for the moment. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like he could turn up the uh, temperature a bit here, like he could yeah. build. After this section, I think it's better to, to turn on. Yeah. Okay, so he presses upwards. He'll make this clip. And this is what I meant by Hannes spending, well, we both meant by Hannes spending too long. He's already stood up, whereas Hannes still had his head between his legs at this point. Onto the clip, onto the crisp. No one facing out yet. I want someone to turn. I want the route setters to uh, have their moment. <laughs> yeah. I think they're all together and they will do all the same bet. I yeah, do. I think so too. I think everyone will do it like that. But you never know. Maybe one. Okay, more points on the board. Now he's starting to try a little harder now. But he knows he's got to basically finish this route if he stands any chance of winning. Carefully out left, brings that left hand. This is where um, Hannes Puman had to fight through the crimps. Lucas Potterja looking okay at the moment. The big right hero now before this crimps. He's got a toe, two yeah. toes underneath. Wow, that's, ah, that's clever. It's interesting, maybe it's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he's got to drop down now, but it saved him some energy, I think. Bit of a weird clip, but it's in. Right, this is strong stuff. Now, this is what Hannes was trying to do. Get a toe, and he... I don't think that's the best way oh. through, actually. Now, he drops in, that's better. But he's got to release that toe, and it's a big swing, and he manages to do it well. Up into third, pushing Hannes out of the podium. Crimp to come over the lip of that head wall. There it is. Nice. All right, well, the angle change. He'll enjoy this. I still don't think he's pumped, you know. He's looking okay. He looks a bit pumped, but he can fight again. Oh, that was harder. But four points per hold from now on. Crimps on, over the top. Really good fight for him. Big bump needed though. Let's oh, the oh. foot went. It's such a nasty hold, that, that little pocket crimp thing. So the V layers help him out as we watch this replay. He looked good throughout, really calm, composed climbing, clever with the way he did that. Sam is less than 30 points to beat him. Four. Yes, I mean, it's Sam's to lose, isn't it, at this point? But, you know, a mistake, and I've seen Sam make mistakes before as well. Yeah, yeah, it's happened. yeah it happens. It happens That's to everyone. It. Here we go. Nikolai Rusev out onto the stage. He wants the B layer to be the other side. 
That's just because he wants to rope in the position for that right hand, I think. Okay, so here we go. Quick climbing down low. Yeah, I think now it's a bit tired. He wants to keep the power up. Yeah, I think this is going to be... You can see the way he's climbing. He wants to do it fast. Yeah. I don't know how they recover between boulder and lead. Like, what they do you just do? hang on the jerk and <laughs> shake, shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> Do they tend to eat between rounds? It depends on the climber. Yeah. Some, some need a lot of it, some just something, a bit of sugar. Okay. It depends. Alright, well, let's hope that Nikolai's had that sugar. He's certainly climbing. Like he's had some sugar very, very quickly. Alright, up into the points now. There's the crimp. Quick climbing for him until there. Yeah, good at the moment. Big move to come, this press. All right, pushing, face against the wall. He turns, oh, he's having to work. And he's throwing out a bit. Yeah, the difference between those who aren't feeling tired and those who are, I think Nikolai and Hannes were both tired at this point. Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> it just makes it look a bit awkward. And there's some no texture in there. He's got to be careful of that right foot. Yeah, and also the left foot, it's super slippery. I think it's hard to be very confident on this one. All right, carefully does it. He has a look down, shaking that left hand out all the time. Shake a bit before the endurance part. Well, there is our current leader. Hat on, chilling, waiting. <laughs> Sam to come. Nikolai spending quite a lot of time here. Up towards the crimp, hits the next one, and then starts to speed up again. That was good climbing, actually, because he was really fast to it, and then slowed himself down, didn't make a mistake, and now he speeds up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm. a good... Um, tactic. Good tactic, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, two toe hooks in now. I think he would put the high right foot. Oh, wow, oh. it was high left foot. I love how many different ways... That's so flexible. Yeah. Just looking at that. Crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are watering. Good move, though. Campus, this section. Yeah. Come on, the dog. Gets that toe, fight, he needs to fight, let go. Fight. He's up into fourth. Still below Sam, who hasn't even climbed, though, and he falls. Oh. Well, Crazy fight. Yeah. He was completely bumped. He was gone, wasn't he? <laughs> right, let's see how he did this. This was where he slowed things down. He had to because there's some really tricky moves here. Twisting, facing the wall, eyeing up the next crimp, locked that one off well, and then he pressed his foot down on the accelerator again and moved fast through the top section. Crossed through with left. This was where he was fighting so, so hard, stretching out. High heels. And then stretched out up there before he fell on that heel. All right, well, here is Jonas in front of his home crowd off the ground, underway. Finds the first clip, rotates through. This is good stuff at the moment from him. Nice and simple down low, though. Bumps with the right hand. <laughs> the heartbeat tune from the DJ is making us all a bit nervous. All right, up he comes, into the pockets. Make another clip here. 
bit of a slap onto his shorts, get rid of some excess chalk and get himself ready for the next section because he's about to hit the points. I'm not sure he's going to beat Luca and Sam. Yeah, but uh, how many points you need? Yeah, I'm just going to check. We haven't got the score up, but we'll have a look in a second. Now, now the score will come up uh, now he's on the board. He had 49 points in Boulder. It wasn't a bad uh, round. Ooh, struggling here. He nearly fell then. Pressing up with the left hand. Just the feet. Quick draw above his head. He's very stretched out here. He needs to move that left foot somehow. He'll make the clip first before worrying about that. There's the little foot jump. Nice. And you can see the score on the left now. So yeah, 49.2 from Boulder. Added to six. He's in 55.2 and in sixth. He climbs super quickly from here. Can't wait to see him fight hard. It's always so good. Well, it's about to come because he's going to hit the nasty crimps from this point on. Here we go then. This traverse is hard. Up into the crimps. The crowd is on fire for him. And they are supporting him all the way here. And there is a bit of rain actually in the stadium now. It's not, I don't think, going to affect the wall, but it's very lightly drizzling. Do you know the word drizzle? <laughs> In French, drizzle means very light rain in English. Drizzle? <laughs> yeah, drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving the hands down, nearly fell. Campus is more, same as Nicolai. He's not fighting yet, is he? He looks okay. Yeah. Into fifth. It will be a good try, I think. He hates to hook. <laughs> oh, does he? Yeah, he hates this. Oh. He will put a heel for sure. Oh. You can see how Come much he didn't like it. He hates to no. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Jonas, you can put a heel. Oh. So this is one of his weaknesses, is it? This, this toe. Ah, yeah. There's the nice. heel. Good spot, Jules. Nice one. Now the fight starts. Oh, Come on, Jonas. It's going to cost him a bit of energy, though. Puts a heel. heel shakes left. Up into fourth. hard here before the last section hasn't made the clip yet oh. he still hasn't made that clip it's gone maybe too far I think it can clip from here but oh, oh nice yeah there we go what a fight oh. as always it's oh. crazy come on Jonas crosses through more crimps to come though on this head wall and that's the dimple a horrible nasty hole we've seen this used a few times hits wow. the intermediate first up into second oh he's missed no, it no, 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 no. there yeah. we go how is he still on oh. big jump coming and he's still on oh. <laughs> it's crazy unreal stuff maybe he'll finish this thing thumb in and lots of time now he's gonna go Whoa. So good for him. Look, it's put him up into first place as well. Whoa. Unbelievable. Well, you never know. He's just beaten one athlete I didn't think he would. Can he beat Sam Avazu? You never know. He's certainly put the challenge down to Sam, but there's a lot of points needed. I still think Sam will have to make a mistake. Okay, well, this was the highlight. That was the move he was struggling on. But from then, I, he just found something. Endurance. Crazy yeah, endurance. endurance is completely crazy. Yeah. Wow, what a round. Well, he started to battle. I thought he was gone there as well. So good fight. <laughs> right, we are ready then. Three athletes to go before we crown our champ. Left foot up. Here we go. Most people climbing way into the middle of the wall and beyond so far. Everyone falling in different places. It's good separation. Little bump now with that right hand. Nice and calm from him at the moment. Oh, foot slip. Does that when you when that happens as an athlete, 
What, what are you saying to yourself? Are you just trying to ignore it? Or or? Slip? Yeah. Nah, it depends on where is it, because sometimes it gives you a bit of swing and mm -hmm. you take this swing for the next move, sometimes you just, okay, I stay calm. Yeah, <laughs> try to anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how, I think I panic if that happens uh, to me. Sometimes, yeah, you, you can't not panic. Yeah. Okay, up to the clips, out left, onto the crimp now. A little bit awkward here as he changes the feet. I think that's best though to get the left foot up first rather than being stretched out. Yeah, I think it's the best way to, to mm. do this section. But maybe with the high left foot it's harder to put the right uh, one. True, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, and he's certainly oh, oh. good flexibility eventually. But yeah, you're right. It's kind of 50 50, isn't it? You either do a hard left bump or a hard right bump, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> bumping sure, wherever. You need, a, you need a good mobility for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget your stretching if you're watching this. He says, having never really stretched in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so he's shaking out, looking good at the moment. Has a little look at the clock, but he's got plenty of time. Plus his under sits down on those holds. He's super relaxed. I think it's good for the next section. Wow. <laughs> cool. Right, hits the 10, and now he will get the clip in. And this is where everyone else has started to just work a bit harder after this. Big slopey holds before the crimps. Now into the crimps. Has he still got the fingers for this? Makes the match, just the hands. Well, outright, good so far still. Everyone doing this section a little bit differently, which is fun to watch. Oh, yeah, he's it's just always fun to watch. Yeah. There are a lot of betas. He's just campusing his way through it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? He did maybe five or six move campus in the roads. <laughs> maybe, maybe not as tired as we thought then. Yeah, I hope for him to stop this because after... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Okay. This talk move looks not that easy. No, it doesn't. Come on, yeah. I hope he likes oh, nice. for toe hooks more with his uh, team, with his uh, and Jonas. Okay, he moves up into sixth place. Still a long way to go. Now up into fifth. <laughs> Big move needed for this crimp and struggling with the feet suddenly. He didn't see the right hero, look, I think. No, I don't think he has. Somehow oh, he made nice. it. Oh. Wild. This cost a lot. Oh. He didn't have that right foot in the correct position either. Oh yeah, he missed the hero at the top. This got Yeah, it was that heel hook, wasn't he? He needed it in there. Well, this was him looking composed down low. Launching out right, cracking in the heel hook, but yeah, he missed it there, didn't he? He had to do that wild move. Wow. <laughs> Super wild. And I don't think he had the foot in the right place there either, maybe, but I think there was a... No, no, maybe he did. There was a jib in there. Okay, then. Well, Sasha Lehman got gold the other day. Okay, here we go then. Off the ground, underway. Sasha Lehman, such a good lead climber, but he has he got the energy to pull it off this late? He's done a lot of climbing to get to here. Has the knee bar in. This is Swiss crowd loving watching Sasha. Yeah, it's a hero here. Yeah, he really is, yeah. So and it never seems to get to him, like he's such a nice guy as well. I don't know him so, so well, yeah. just talk a bit in isolation, I think. Well, he's never been nasty to me. <laughs> Maybe he's horrible, I don't know. Lovely to me. Anyway. For me, it's exactly the perfect lead climber. Like, <laughs> Probably, yeah. He always climbs super well, always yeah. do perfect betas. He has crazy underruns, good power. Yeah. 
Every now and again, though, things don't go his way and he has a bit of a mistake, and he talked about that openly. Yeah. It's great to have him in the Olympics, though. Okay, up through the blues now. Points are beckoning above his head. <laughs> this clip in and has anyone spotted this potential turn I think it is just maybe a bit too hard to see now he starts pushing pressing against the wall I think he's going to do this method of bringing it up late and oh no no oh wow okay that works. Yeah, 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 I think it's good. Yeah, I think that's good too. Quite efficient. Yeah, just teasing that rope up. Ooh, that was good. He's still got energy here. Still down on the bottom though. Seven points, so 52.1. He's got to get up to 103.1. So, yeah, near the top if he wants to get onto the podium. Hits the crimp now. Changes those hands. There's the 30 over to his right. Drops down. Hasn't made the clip yet. It's above his head though. And I don't know where he's gonna make it. Come on, Sasha. Oh, nice. Okay, fair. everyone doing this differently. I was worried for a sec, but no. I think the Rotset would love to see this. Yeah, it's really good from them. Swings back. I don't think it's the most efficient way, though. Nah, for sure. <laughs> nice toe hook skills. Oh, jumps out just about. Can he recover something now? Whoa. The score is going up, but very slowly. Left heel in. Oh, it's such a bad hold. <laughs> okay, clip underneath the head walk. Yeah, he Only can one to go to fight a lot of moves for sure. Yeah, he's still got something, hasn't he? Left up to sixth now. Sixty points. He's very close to a podium place here. More points, four per hold. Out he goes. Yes, up to third. So not guaranteed a medal yet. And quite a way to go if he wants to guarantee a medal as well. He needs one to seven. Oh. He looks so easy coming into that crimp. Two move less for a podium. Nice. What a fight. Oh, he can clip. Podium there for we sure. go, yeah. Guaranteed a medal for Sasha, his second of the week. Come on, Sasha. Oh, crazy fight for him. Up into number one spot, so he's guaranteed Whoa. silver. Two Swiss on the podium. Unbelievable. I would not have predicted that coming into this. And the crowd loving that. Nah, he can be super happy about his try. But he's already in sick, this Sam. Yeah, he did 41 points, I think. Mm. If he didn't do a mistake, if he don't do a mistake, <laughs> it's okay. Look at the two celebrating yeah, together. Yeah, this team are so happy. <laughs> that was him fighting his way through. I thought he was in trouble after that sequence. Yeah, he can recover at every crimp after that. Yeah. Another great fight. Ah, he's a bit wild as they flick back and forth, but oh no. Not quite at the top, but more than enough. Come on, my G, <laughs> let's go, Sam. <laughs> Here we go then, jumping up at the start. Sam Abazu will climb his way towards a gold. 40 or so points needed. 
Climbing at the moment, looking like he is a bit nervous. Yeah, maybe it's a bit nervous, but he's also super tired and yeah. he has a lot of uh, trouble in the shoulder after oh. this bouldering round. <laughs> Sam is broken, is what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> he, need, he need a break, I think, yeah. <laughs> after a week of comp. Yeah, well, can he hold this together? That's the scoreboard, up to sixth now. Uh, he climbed well, as always. Yeah, now better climbing quickly, which is what he needs to do, I think, if he's that tired. Yeah. Okay, points on the board now. Not many needed for Sam. 136 for the win. 127 for a podium, and he's already at 101. But this is where he has to be careful. Yeah. If he can get through this, I think he'll be all right. Come on, Sam. Ah, you start to question yourself, you know. Oh, I'm scary. I know. It's oh, on. really okay. stretched out. Chill. That's better, <laughs> yeah. No, it's so strong in this weird stuff. Oh, it's so far above his head, that clip, though. Now he's got to bump that left foot up. Hanging on the wall, gets the crimping. Nerve-wracking stuff right now for both of us at a commentary box. Sam Avazu moving through. Up into fourth, he's so close to a podium already here, 105.7. More points available from that 10. Come on, Sam, stay calm. You know how to do it. Oh, oh. The layer, don't give a... Okay, oh. clips in. Fourth. Come on, Sam. Perfect. You don't take the slow burn to mid -year. Doesn't don't need it, look. it? <laughs> Okay, resting now. Still below the podium, but only just. Remember, he wanted three golds. Can he make it two and a silver? He can, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely got the potential, hasn't he? He's just... This is another scary sequence now. Climbs fast. And down as well. That right foot, though, not on very much. Oof. Third. Okay, so guaranteed a podium. Let's go. But he, he doesn't want, want a podium. He doesn't want a bronze. No. He wants Come a on, Sam. This toe hook is risky. Yeah, perfect. Precise. Nice. That's good. Crossing through. He looks okay now. Yeah. Come on. Oh, is he though? Yes, and the there win we go. is okay. That is the win for Sam Avazu. Come on, Sam, you can just enjoy now. <laughs> I don't know if the crowd's realized it yet. Sam won't have realized. Yeah, and the rotator also told me that he did want so much a top for the men's comp. Oh, yeah? They are zero for the moment. Yesterday was close, but maybe now. Yeah, I'd like to see a top. It's Come been on, a Sam. Wow. I hope a good fight for him to finish the comp. Perfect, 60 points. All right, well, he's going to sit on that heel for a second, recover. He doesn't need to, but we'd love to see... Oh, 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 oh. oh he yeah, used come on, Sam. everything then. He used the metal, he used Whoa. the bolt cover, everything. Wow. Nah, he can continue to fight for sure. Yeah, he's still on precise. Are he won't know how far he's got to go, though. Fatigue kicking in. He's going to go for the big jump. Nice. Oh, he still holds it. He know. He must know by now. I think he might even be able to see a scoreboard on the right. Who knows? Look, for sure, he know that he win. Yeah. Out oh. he goes. He'll wait just We're to make sure. That our little fist bump. <laughs> and he waves to the crowd. He'll get confirmation from someone. He is the European Combined Champ. Congrats, my friends. Oh. Let's go. Unreal. And he's that chilling. focus, he's yeah. so focused. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome to see. Still looking at his skin. Great work, Sam Abazu. Two golds and a silver, wow. Yeah. No, that was a nice comp for him. For sure, it's a bit sad for yesterday night, but he had a, go a good fight. So. Yes, he did. Well, he can now finally take some time off and chill. Right, that's confirmation of the scores. We say goodbye to Jules. Sam Avazu taking the victory, 183. Brilliant from him. Needed to keep it together. It wasn't guaranteed, but that boulder round left him in such a good position. Sasha Lehman and Jonas on the podium. So after that, Luca Potijak, Guillermo in fifth, Nicholas Kola in sixth, Nikolai Rusev in seventh, and Hannes Pullman in eighth. Sam Avazu, two gold medals. Congratulations. I mean, you look like uh, you look kind of shocked right now. Has it sunk in yet for you? 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy and uh, I'm also quite happy that it's, it's done because it was a very hard week. Uh, my, my fingers are, are so painful and I'm a bit out of breath yeah. for uh, yeah, all the efforts I did. It all started with that amazing boulder round. You were in the 90s and you looked to be unstoppable out there. You're in such good boulder shape right now. Yeah, I'm in a good boulder shape and the boulders were not super hard, so I could do them in a, a, a quite, quite quick attempt. So yeah, I saved some energy uh, for a leader. Nice. Yeah, it's good I did that because I was really shaky. <laughs> well, look, I know you wanted three gold medals out of this week. You're going to have to settle for two, but I would imagine you're feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I, um, I wanted to come. Yeah, honestly, I wanted to have three wins. But uh, obviously, when you compete with uh, guys uh, like Sasha, you can't like, expect to win lead uh, every time. It's not possible. So, yeah, congrats to him. And uh, two goals is already pretty good. <laughs> okay. Well, Sam, enjoy that podium. Congratulations again, and I'll see you in Copper. Thank you. Thank you. Put himself in a good position to win after the boulder round, but had to keep it together for lead. He managed that and he takes victory here in Vila.